Hello everyone, and this is Naveen Saroha. Welcome again, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about the information how to find out the trending waves, how to find out the trending market, which is the top most, it's the top uh, higher high or maybe the bottom, lower low bottoms and all. So there is a difficult to find out the turning point when the market is completely trending down or trending up. So these are matter, these methods are uh, the old one, but uh, if lots of people came every day so maybe somebody knew uh, who bought recently the square and all and they didn't get uh, trainings and uh, training sessions or live sessions from my side so no worry simply take a look and how to use uh, square auto gain square or auto grid and as well as the percentage too so we are discussing on three tools today and how to use and how to work perfectly with the geometric tools okay. it's all about for uh, information videos and that's my product information video basically so not a training video if anybody wants to learn or anybody already bought my products so they need to understand how to apply different way okay there is a route to uh, how to configure the route to value and uh, the, another one same one the spiral growth the root 2 growth my lots of video on root 2 growth how to grow your stair with the root 2 value okay, it's very easy concept with the our tools maybe gain square gain box whatever you have or whatever you bought already so there is no issue okay let's get it start with uh, some different topics let me close first then we can keep on that okay uh, here is a nifty chart so let's start with the nifty okay the, uh, the, the lots of people ask me where well, how we find out the exact top exact bottom here uh, this one is a 6.25 with our percentage so when a market is open this need to be break okay so there is a no more reason i already posted to my client and i show the some screenshot which is I share to my client when the market is not at the point okay it's a different see with this sequence with the 90 degree the nifty nifty daily right we got a this bar for the turning point we got the same bar with the different sequence the impulsive last last impulsive swing Different sequence, the 50% here is a, at a bottom on the first bar, exactly low bar, lowest bar. After that, market is never came. Uh, I told to my client, okay, it takes a long time or it's never became again. It's maybe lowest low. Or it takes a more more and more time to come back again. It's all are the nifty charts, which is I sent to my clients. Okay, there is a lots of reason. The right time to pull back, I show you. Here is a some trading days. This one is a trading days. Sorry, it's a calendar days chart. So see the 360 degree circle. Exactly at point, the right time to pull back. Right? It's a live market running the same day. Right time to pull back. Tomorrow open if you get at the price. Immediately you take the price. 783, 786, whatever you got. There is a lots of sequence I found, and that time I predict okay, NFT goes never came back to again okay uh, lots of chart here also there is a euro usd and uh, uh, see the first bar okay right now I, I can show you the same one what i did i'm i'm not doing anything the previous high low the low point right and high point i just drew the 90 degree square which is already the people are using continuously the same method no dynamics in inside of that Sorry, there is a zoom zoom uh, issue, so exactly you don't get the intersection point. But see, the 50% there, uh, here is a 50% value, right? This one is a 50% value, which is came on a, this bar close and next bar open, maybe, or maybe it's a uh, difference of that. But we have an exact point, midpoint, when we drew from here to here, exact midpoint at the lowest low. After that, the 16 trading days, 17 trading days gone. Of one month gone, market never touched the low. And same day, 
if next week market is close above 6.25 then only goes to be upside otherwise came down maybe takes more time maybe take games here or maybe uh, is consolidation one or two days okay need to be break with sharp movement with high volume candles or maybe gap up open tomorrow maybe open at uh, under the 6.25 and then go for a high volume candle whole day right okay there is a nifty chart we got a different sequence with different values and different way and we got all top and bottoms whatever the nifty form with a different different way and uh, not right now we are predicted we are already predicted where the nifty goes where the nifty goes and right now is a last point it's a last point so different different time i explained everybody okay you need to go we got every each and every turning points almost when the makes a new high nifty we got each and every turning points somewhere here but uh, from this to this if you are trying here like we are using we got at that point or that point maybe this one is yes, exactly the 30 66% the vertical line here okay so different time frame different uh, there is a daily time frame and i think i will switch the scale which is not needed no it's not fixed okay so it's moving here and there because of full screen okay now we are just uh, showing you how to draw the route to growth right just close it What happened with the Nifty day before yesterday? Here's some problem. Okay, let me delete all. Okay. Root 2 growth spiral, right? The spiral growth of root 2. The first, the second one with the 50 degree cross section, or 50, not 50 degree cross section, 50 percent cross section. Or maybe it's a uh, it's a 45 degree exactly it's a 45 degree angle need to be take this one the second one need to take this one the third one i already posted lots of video and lots of things but why we need that it's a last impulsive right this one is a last impulsive this one from here to here or maybe this one no the first and just pull out the basic trend line at 45 degree angle start to end the second see the high somewhere around here okay it's a root 2 growth right or maybe maybe i was deferred uh, there is a low need to be exact sometime maybe this one is a high okay there is no issue I show you the market how to behave the immediate points and how to behave the exact point values where the market is goes up and downside up here exactly so there should be the higher one again okay, this one only one and two yeah take a look at here okay which is the top right and another one if you need to be check the right side it's the same value it can be show uh, from here okay so let me check with another point it's the last impulse right it's the last impulsive from here to here need to be here or here see the first impulsive there is a first impulsive this one from here, okay, see this one, this one on higher level, you can use any one. Okay, 
I'm sorry. One. Two. And then third. See, the height was prepared. Okay, so there is a two different method when the market is trending. That time only you just need to find out with the swing high lows. The first impulsive, maybe second impulsive. Not second impulsive, basically last or recent one, right? These are only can be used inside of that the technique root 2 spiral growth or spiral growth of root 2 just place on 50 percent okay so i think it's a clear to all of you uh, this technique can be used in the trending market when the market is trending is not given more uh, yeah, you got a small turning points uh, for the uh, four or five candles or ten candles maybe, but there is a uh, no more difference. Like it's not getting a not getting a exact top and bottoms. The first one, second. Okay, now now you can see here. Okay, there is a spiral growth, root to spiral growth. So market is, uh, there is a price movement here, the price movement, the center point, check the center point, the first high here, this one. Okay, if anybody wants to try here to here, so you got uh, the turning point as well as, here is a turning from this point, market here and there. There is a point of the two by one angle. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. I think there is no confusion inside of the spiral growth. How to check the spiral growth with a different, different way. Uh -huh. And another one. Like the next high, next low. And how to predict the next high, next low. With that. The same thing happened here. If you need to do this one. Let's go. The first, second, and the third. Okay, the market is closed somewhere here. Market came back. Market is closed now. So there is a C that's sloping here to here. So here is a root to growth, right? So you can apply like that. Okay, uh, came to the next topic. There is another topic uh, somewhere around here. Here is a Nifty. The chart is from Nifty. Some Nifty hourly chart, right? We started from here, just drawing a square. These are the different way, somewhere here to here to pass on the next one so you can pass maybe the full of square complete like that and just power to upside or downside wherever or maybe from 50 percent here is a 50 percent okay so you got a the 33 or 66 percent the intersection points or maybe price and time both times same right so you can use the different way how to draw the square already lots of video on YouTube, which is I posted. Okay, the next topic, uh, why my auto scale grid, also a excellent tool grid and it's auto scaled, right? And same thing happen in a square. See how many intersection point and turning point occurred with the grid and came the same time here and there, okay, right away. See, this one, we have started from 
somewhere around here. Right? So take a look. Forty two point seven means price will be here. Yeah. See, my grid is exactly 45. Every line, whenever you want to draw with auto scale, my grid always makes you a 45 degree angle exactly. Right? 45 degree angle. It found what is the scale of your chart, and uh, there is a difference of your multiplier. There is no issue. Multiplier have to be big or smaller. There is a no condition inside of that. But see, it's a 45 degree angle exactly place on that. Right? Okay. It's a moving here and there. There is a different way. And it's not moving anywhere. The scale is changing. Uh, maybe uh, here, is, here is only you have a low. You have low price. So we have started from low price and it's continuously we want to draw. So okay, it makes a new high. It's a different, different, but th there is a no change inside of that. When the market is here, then only it can be decided what is your 45 degree angle. So all angles are the 45. That's why my grade is more important. Why we get at the low exactly, which is a major low from here to here, which is a major low. This came from 45 degree angle. It's like a, uh, it's performing like a channel. If anybody wants to use like a channel, there, there is a one channel came to be down. The second channel, the third channel, and the fourth channel, like that. So there is a different square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth square. Right now it's the eighth square, value, which is here. Okay. So don't worry. Inside of my square, let me show you. Somewhere around, uh, if I was okay. See, here's a gen box which is auto scale, the market is, uh, see, the, there is a no fixed scale or anything. I'm not set it as scale, whatever the random scale is gone. I, I need to apply at high and see the turning point up. See the beautiful turning point scheme. Every top and bottom, almost we get it with a grid. Because, because of scale, because of my percentage differentiate, differentiations, the box sizes, I have the right idea to how to uh, make uh, your tool to be excellent performance scale as well as the the box length i mean to say the grid length you will make the simple dividers the 816 256 128 512 with a different time frame maybe h1 15 minute so need to increase if you have a small time frame so you need to increase your multiplier otherwise uh, see what I have uh, is a you SP 500, right? Okay, there is a no uh, grid. See here, here is my square, and uh, what is the angle? It's a 45 degree angle, which is the exactly center point. And we drawing here, and the scale is moving here and there. See, your angle is moving here and there, but my square is not moving anywhere, right? It's fixed. So when you are try to analyze anything, analysis with any any of symbol, see what happened somewhere. Uh, if you want to try, see the, it look like a, a cube or it's a different shape. But don't worry, when the market is running here, that time is uh, maybe somewhere around. Okay, right now. So when we started play with fixed scale so what we did we placed here right maybe market is start from here so that time the low lowest low after that we will make that the 45 degree angle if we started from here okay Let's see it's a completely parallel with the grid line right yeah, it's a difference of your candles and yeah that's why it's a zoom in Right. So these my grid or maybe square, maybe GAN box, 
whenever you want to draw, whenever you want to analyze, that time, let's calculate exact 45 degree angles, right? All the angles may be from start from zero. There is a lots of analysis start from zero, the 45 degree angles all, and see the high, high and lows and the top and bottoms almost you covered with the age and every time frame. Right. So it's a good part uh, to analyze each and everything with our auto scaling tools and auto square, auto scaled square and can grid. Right. And uh, the another one. Yeah. Some of some of the percentage too. We posted the Bajaj Finance uh, from here. Yeah. Need to short because of the 12.5%. Because we need to try to find out the rhythm. The previous low is somewhere here, the 15.6.25, the 18.75. And the next side is some different way, like uh, here, try to find out the high. It's almost 25%. 18.75, 25%. Yeah, the next side is 25%. 18.75, 25%, right? And after that, it came to be 15, then pull back, came to be down, is 25%, right? So here is our 12.5 percent with the sequence of this low from this low and this high is 12.5 percent. From here, it's maybe different. It's a almost 25 close above the 25, but it's under the 28 percent or somewhere, right? So I started here and see the exactly market moves from 3.125 from the high. And the same time, we have the forecast of Nifty. I, I seen the Bajaj bank and banks also. So Bajaj Finance, I, I seen which is came on 30 with 3.125 is must be turned back up upside. And see again, it came to be 12.5. So once you find out the rhythm with the percentage, you have only price. You don't need anything. You just can play with the price only. Okay. Once you need to find out the previous data. What is the rhythm? How many big and small things are games with the market with different symbols? Once you find out the rhythm, there is a no need for any tools. Percentage tool or GAN percentage I call because he only discovered the percentage tool. Yes, I am I'm changing some different way. There is a, my personal opinion and my personal experience and it's my personal analysis with a different, different way. There is a flat way. Just find out the movement, what is the rhythm, how much average movement of your stock and then easily you can track your stock. Okay, it's major turning point or minor turning points. So it's a daily time frame if you are working with the H1 time frame 15 minutes or 30 minutes, there is a small time frame, 3.125 is a major turning points. Or maybe 6.25 is a major turning points. And see, uh, who are already uh, have my older one. See, the price there is at 24, okay? The multiply of 6 and multiply of 8 means 3 and 4. Today, date is 4th, the 4th June 2022. Right? So, multiply by 4, multiply by 6. The GAN square 4, GAN square 6, square of 12, right? Or 369. There is a lot of sequence, but sequence only is the divider 8 and divider 6. Okay. You're going to find your way uh, 24, maybe 48, 96 in a, in a time frame. Different, different way to calculate that. Okay. If you're more bigger, maybe weekly or monthly. So you need to go for a divider of 8 or 6 or 3 like that. Right. So you got a major or, major or minor turning points with that. Okay, uh, I think I was covered the three topics. There is a one, the, all are the 45 degree grid. No worry about it. There is a no tool in whole world, any software can have, which will give you a automatic scale and uh, the precise value of the grid. Let me give you an example somewhere. Is a 480 uh, 15 minutes, so need to be 128. Okay, let's auto right? Okay. 
to measure highs maybe when i plot it maybe different divider but don't worry there is a different divider have certain different qualities if you want to change let me change the simple one 128 is a divider of uh, multiplier of sorry uh, yeah we call the divider so it's a multiplier of 8 8 16 32 128 64 64 and it's double the 128 uh, let me do some uh, 24 48 96 right 96 it's interdict time frame 15 minutes it's not a big time frame. there's a 96 okay what happened with the 96 96 also having seen okay this one is solution market tend to be upside no high low breaks so it came back down next grid pull back Next grid, pull back. Next grid, pull down. So, hope you understand what I need to explain to my clients. And I think uh, another guy who already using the geometry, so they are also uh, enjoy the video. That is all about the my three tools, which is I already used, and the spiral growth, again grid. Again, square, and I am also going to show this one because it's a horizontal and vertical scale. Okay, how to draw the vertical scale? And uh, suppose we randomly go anywhere and just uh, find out. We don't need to do anything when the market is live. So just pull out, and there is a different scale. See, there is no need to put the square. If I for place here <laughs> manual scale suppose it's a daily time frame so i'm put here maybe 3000 means the 30 point some different oh, i need to just auto okay <laughs> it's my idea <laughs> so don't don't mind because uh, i know the nifty scale so there is a lots of time see the 2800 is our scale i just put it the random value but uh, yeah i know the nifty moving here and there with the same skill 25 to 35 maybe 4000 sometimes it's a big moment maybe 6000 means 60 point per hour 600 per point per hour not 600 the 60 point per hour the average values. Okay, there is a different uh, uh, skill you can use fully automated. So, no need to place the scale manually. You got a difference inside of that. Just play here. Yes, I'm just trying to do. Okay. Right, you got a, the 66 percent, which is the top. Uh, that's the 66 percent, right? Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. If any query, please comment me or inbox me or maybe WhatsApp or Skype. You can use. Uh, there is a tool and how to draw with a different way spiral growth the route to spiral growth the 45 degree exact my all the GAN grid and GAN square uh, auto scale GAN grid and GAN square these are completely 45 degree based and there is a no lagging though no adjustment whatever the people are using the some uh, angle tool or some of different charting platforms but the, nobody have an idea whatever we are using inside of that okay the, there is a no issue with the pixels there is a no issue with the screen sizes there is a no issue with the different uh, uh, 14 inches 15 inches 17 inch 16 or maybe the big screen can be used in 29 inch 32 inches or 24 inches okay there is a no issue with a square okay uh, okay guys thank you very much 
thank this information works for you and my clients must be applied and another one who are not my clients and they are uh, continuously watching my videos so they need to apply they need to apply these methods in their trading geometric trading and geometric tools okay thank you very much thank you